what's the endocrine function of adipocytes the hormones produced from the adipocytes are leptin adenopectin resistin angiotensinogen and cytokines that include tumor necrosis factor alpha interleukin 6 and complement factor so what's leptin leptin is an adipocyte derived hormone that decreases the appetite and increases energy expenditure it acts through brain circuits predominantly through hypothalamus metabolic activity of bat brown adipose tissue is increased by leptin that acts through sympathetic nervous system which heavily innervates this tissue in rodents bat deficiency causes obesity and diabetes how leptin increases energy expenditure leptin increases sympathetic nervous system activity it causes lipolysis by cortisol release and number three it increases bmr by increase in thyroxine obesity is also associated with gene mutation ob obesity gene and db genes provide molecular basis for the physiologic concept of obesity ob gene what does it do it produces peptide leptin leptin acts through brain circuits predominantly through hypothalamic arcuate and paraventricular nuclei in rodents single gene mutation the ob gene mutation causes obesity by increasing appetite and decreasing the energy expenditure and it also causes insulin resistance mutation in the ob gene in human inactivates leptin or number two leptin receptors and causes obesity shortly after birth and is accompanied by neuroendocrine abnormalities like hypogonadotropic hypogonadism so what's the amount of leptin in obesity vast majority of obese people have increased leptin why due to leptin resistance due to leptin signal inhibitors but some patients have leptin deficiency that predisposes to obesity next hormone is adiponectin its levels are reduced in obesity enhances insulin sensitivity and lipid oxidation so adenopectin increases insulin sensitivity and increases glucose uptake and it decreases platelet aggregation when there is hypoadenopectinemia as occur in obesity the insulin resistance is increased that leads to type 2 diabetes and hypoadenopectinemia leads to atherosclerosis how does it leads to atherosclerosis by diabetes mellitus hypertension and dyslipidemia due to increased triacylglycerol and decrease hdl insulin actually inhibits lipolysis so increases triglycerides in the adipose tissues but when there is a increase in insulin resistance that leads to hyperlipidemia in type 2 diabetes insulin increases due to decrease in insulin receptors and defect in receptors adenopectin increases during caloric restriction such as in anorexia nervosa this is surprising because adenopectin is produced by adipose tissue but evidence is that adipose tissue in bone marrow increases during caloric restriction that leads to increase in circulating adenopectin the third hormone resistin that is increased in obesity and number two it induces in resistin is a white adipose tissue hormone and it directly induces insulin resistance in muscle and liver it is a product of macrophages which are increased in severe obesity so what are the hormones which are increased and decreased in obesity leptin in most of the cases of obesity is increased and resistin is also increased and cytokines are also increased the only hormone that is decreased is adenopectin so an increase in leptin and an increase in cytokines and decrease in adenopectin leads to increased thrombotic tendency increase insulin resistance and increase in inflammation leading to atherometosis leading to thrombosis in the arteries so excessive body weight and obesity that leads to increase free fatty acid increase in cytokines increase in resistance and a decrease in adiponectin 
lead to increase in insulin resistance and hyperinsulinemia. What's the role of cytokines in obesity? When there is increase in adipose tissue in obesity, there is increase in cytokines like TNF alpha and interleukin 6. That leads to increase in inflammation and atherothrombosis. How cancer is produced in obesity? Excessive weight and adiposity. There is increased free fatty acids, increased TNF alpha, increase in resistance and decrease in adiponectin. All this leads to increase in insulin resistance. So there is hyperinsulinemia. Hyperinsulinemia leads to decrease in binding proteins of insulin-like growth factor. So free IGF-1 is increased and its bioavailability is increased. The increased IGF-1 leads to increase in cell proliferation and tumor development.